Welcome everyone. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Blackest Heart, The Forgetting Moon, The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. We are going to be reviewing my libraries. This, this video is going to be science fiction, fantasy, horror. I've got other videos where I show my library that's got my historical fiction, my thrillers, and my mysteries. And then I've got another video where I show my nonfiction biographies, historicals, some of the classics. My libraries are too big, I just can't fit them all into one video, so let's get started with science fiction, fantasy, and horror. Let me take the camera here, get you situated here in the room. Let's just take a look at the library. This is my, this is my entire science fiction, fantasy, and horror section, right from there all the way to there. Now, if you want to know over here, that is my mystery, thriller, historical fiction. We will do a tour of those at some point. Let's get started, though. Just with my fan... Let's get started. I've got these organized, and it goes from science fiction to fantasy to horror, or somewhat like that, so let's just do it here. Up top, on the top shelf, we've got, of course, the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown and the Deathstalker series by Simon R. Green. And then the Chung Cow series by David Wingrove. <clears throat> That's a pretty rare series there that came out in the late 80s, 90s. Hard to get. And then up here, we've got Larry Niven's Ringworld and... Ring World and the Integral Trees. Look at, I'll show you some of the covers that I really like. That Michael Whalen painting is dope. The Snow Queen and the Summer Queen, also with some amazing Michael Whalen paintings. Hugo Award winning. Then here we've got my friend. Christopher Rocchio's Empire of Silence series. That's Rocchio, Christopher Rocchio. Then we've got The Expanse. And don't you like how they're numbered? One, two, three, four, five. But why can't all publishers do that? On the shelf below, we've got my Dune section. Now these are my Kevin J. Anderson. Kevin J. Anderson, he also wrote some of the Dune Stuff with Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson. He does his own works. I do have his Hidden Empire series, his Saga of the Seven Sons. I've got these Dune books that just came out, these collectibles. I've got, of course, the great, great one. Then I've got my old paperbacks that I bought back when I was in high school. Down below, we've got W. Michael Gear, one of my favorite science fiction writers of all time. The Spider series, and then below him we've got his wife, Kathleen M. O'Neill. She also wrote some great science fiction. We've got some more Michael Gear, more Michael Gear, and then down here we got Three Body Problem. I have not read those yet. We will get to them. Over here we've got the uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs, John Carter of Mars, and then of course, John Scalzi's Old Man's War, Red Shirts. Down below, we've got my Orson Scott card collection. Let's pan out. That's my whole Orson Scott card collection. Of course, Ender's Game. We all know that. Over here, we've got Mike Brooks' Dark Run series. Again, with some great cover artwork. Down below, we've got my Ben Bova. My Ben Bova series. That's the Grand Tour. The Martian, Ready Player One, Brent Weeks, Stephen Brust. You've heard me talk about Stephen Brust a few times on my channel. Some great books. That is my entire Terry Brooks collection right there. Boom. Another great cover. Robotech. 
So here we had a little, little bit of fantasy down here, but now we're getting back up into some science fiction. Robotech. I don't know if you remember the Robotech folks, but I bought these when I was a kid. They're actually pretty cool. Might be reviewing a few of those soon. My Stephen R. Donaldson collection. Another great Michael Whalen painting. Catherine Kurtz, if you haven't read the Dorini series, you gotta read Dorini. Okay, now we're back up into some sci-fi. Red Mars, Green Mars, Blue Mars, Kim Stanley Robinson. Of course, we got the Hitchhiker's Guide. Then over here, we moved to Peter F. Hamilton. Love Peter F. Hamilton. Then my good friend, uh, Brad Torgerson, wrote these science fiction novels published by Bain. And then we've got my Alistair Reynolds collection. More great science fiction. Oh, and then my guilty pleasure, the Star Wars legends will pan out. I don't think I even need to say more. Up above that, we've got my David Weber collection. His Safe Hold series, and then his Honor Harrington series. Got them all. Jump back over into a little fantasy with my David Eddings. Master of Grim Dark, Joe Abercrombie. Down below, we have got, oh, one of my favorite fantasy writers, Guy Gabriel K. Got all of his stuff. Down below that, we've got. All of Neil Stevenson. Look at that. Next to Neil Stevenson, we've got Nicholas Ames, King of the Wild, Bloody Rose. Then we've got Jade City! Jade War! I have to shout that every time I see those books. This is my King Arthur section, where we've got Mary Stewart's Crystal Cave. We've got Stephen R. Lawhead's Pendragon. Then we've got the great series by Jack White. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. That ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, I can't count. Nine books, all King Arthur. Down below that, we've got, of course, the Crystal Shard, R.A. Salvatore, with the great Larry Elmore cover. We've got the old school Drizzt novels. Then some Catherine Kerr, my good friend Catherine Kerr. Michelle West. If you have not read Michelle West, kind of a lesser known fantasy writer, but she's done this great series for Daw. I'm not going to bother counting those books because I'll get it wrong. Then we got my Robin Hobbs. Where are they? Where did they go? Oh, there they are. My Robin Hobbs series. More great Michael Whalen art. We all have Rob. We all love Robin Hobb. Then, Mr. Terry Goodkind. Down here we've got David Gemmel. All the David Gemmels. Then my good friend David Coe. And my other good friend David Farland. Then my Michael Moorcock Elric collection. Then my Mickey Zucker Reichert. You got to read these. I might be reviewing some of these soon, too. And my C.S. Friedman. C.S. Friedman. Oh, and here's a special shelf. We've got Kate Elliott. Jennifer Robertson. We've got all of Kate Elliott and Jennifer Robertson. And then Melanie Ron. Got all the Melanie Ron books. And then my special, special collection. My special, uh, it's going to be, a, it's going to take a minute. The Golden Key with another great Michael Whalen painting. Collaboration between Melanie Ron, Jennifer Robertson, Kate Elliott. I've got all three of those authors there. I've even got this book signed. By all three of the authors. Now I will be doing a um, another signed book tour where I uh, show you all my signed books. I did one once before, but I left about half of the books out. Oh yes, look at there. 
Jay Kristoff. Oh, what is this? My own novels. You know, that's pretty cool when you can put your own novels right there on the same shelf as all of these awesome books. Look at that, George Martin, Tad Williams, Robert Jordan, Brandon Sanderson, and Brian Lee Durfee. Here's Ken Liu's book. Oh, look at these covers. These are some more books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. And look at these totally awesome covers. Then we got Lies of Locke Lamora, a little Mark Lawrence. Up above, we've got some Kristen Catherine Rush, some Anne McCaffrey, some James P. Blaylock. And then a couple, then some standalone novels that I've been, you know, Ninth House, Bone Shard Daughter, Black Sun. You probably saw me review those. My George R. R. Martin collection. Then we've got John Gwynn, R. Scott Baker, J.V. Jones. Gosh, like I said, most of this stuff is signed. I'm going to do another signed book tour where I show you all of Well, everybody asks me about Gene Wolfe. Those are the Gene Wolfe books that I have. I will review those eventually. Up here we've got Bradley Bailu, my good friend John Marco, Josh, Josiah Bancroft, Evan Winter. Oh, and then my Tad Williams shelf. Look at those Tad Williams books. Isn't that glorious? One of my good friends, one of my best friends in the business, Tad Williams. Right below him, all of the Wheel of Time books. Isn't that magnificent? And then right below that, all the Brandon Sanderson books, along with my good friend Peter Arulian. Now, just so you know, my good friend Peter Arulian, who wrote these wonderful epic fantasies, The Unremembered, is collaborating with Brandon Sanderson on a big epic fantasy series. And I know Brandon has announced that on his YouTube and website, so that's not anything I'm not, it's not breaking news. Steven Erickson got the Malazan books along with my good friend Pat Rothfuss. Below that, we got some Raymond Feist. Raymond Feist. Some Margaret Weiss. Tracy Hickman, Dragonlance. Dave Duncan. Oh, this shelf is full of stuff that I bought when I was in high school. Most all of this stuff, Dennis McKiernan, who's since become a good friend of mine. All of that stuff, that whole shelf there is pretty much stuff I bought when I was in high school. Let's go over here to V.E. Schwab, another good friend. Got the uh, Fritz Lieber, Fafard and the Grey Mouser series. Oh, and then Thieves World. Another one of my guilty pleasures, Thieves World. I do have a video of Thieves World. And then my Conan barbarian stuff the Robert Jordan Conans and then all of the Robert E. Howard Conans oh and then my good friend Dave Butler who wrote the uh, witchy eye witchy winter you should get those oh and of course everybody knows uh, Jim Butcher those are all my Jim Butcher books up here, we've got my good friend, Larry Correa. Monster Hunter, Son of the Black Sword. Okay, and now we're moving into a section that's a little bit of a young... This is kind of my young adult fantasy section. My good friend, James Artemis Owens, wrote these here, and he illustrated all of them. I've got them all signed. When I do my signed book collection tour, I will show you those, because he did personalized artwork on each of them. Up here, we've got the Chronicles of Narnia, Golden Compass, sequels to Golden Compass, and then my good friend, James Dashner, who helped me put on the first ever 
history of the world prison comic-con that's right me and james dasher put on a comic-con in the utah state prison got james dasher's books we got my uh red wall series Ursula Le Guin, Lloyd Alexander, and of course, Harry Potter. Then up here we've got a little Christopher Paolini. All of these are signed because Christopher is another good friend of mine. And that takes care of the sci-fi fantasy section and the young adult stuff. Now let's move to the horror, my horror stuff. Peter Straub, Joe Hill, and then my Charles D. Lint collection, another one of my great friends in the business. If you haven't read Charles D. Lint, start getting his stuff. He does some great, great supernatural thrillers. And then, of course, Jonathan Mabry. His Ghost, Rose, Ghost Road Blues trilogy of horror books. And then, oh, look at this. It even gets better. Robert McCammon. Robert McCammon at the top. And then we move over here to Dan Simmons. I consider Dan Simmons a horror writer because the first books I read of his were these uh, Carrie and Comfort, Summer of Night, Winter of Haunting, Children of the Night. These are all horror books. These are all horror books. Ah, my finger, I can't. They're, they're, they're horror books, I promise you. I promise you. But he's also done some, uh, you know, the terror. He's also done some uh, space opera. Okay, now we're getting to the end. We're getting to the coup de gras. The coup de gras of the collection. And that is every single Stephen King book in publication order. We pan down, got them all, got all these bad boys. Oh my gosh, four, four entire bookshelves just for Stephen King. You know, he's my mainest man. So let's pan back out from that. There we got the whole Stephen King collection. The very right heart. There we go. I mean, that's it. My horror collection there, starting over there with. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it with the pointy finger. Okay. Horror. 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 Young adult. Young adult. Young adult. Some fantasy. Some fantasy. Fantasy. Epic 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 fantasy. Epic, epic, fantasy, 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 sci-fi, sci-fi, fantasy, 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 sci-fi, sci-fi. Hey, that's it, man. That is Brian Lee Durfee's science fiction and fantasy library tour. Check out my other library tours of my historical fiction, mystery thrillers, and of course my classic novels and nonfiction. There you go.